Hey, welcome to Extension Gardener on the Crystal Coast. Today I want to talk about soil sampling. There are basically three steps to taking a soil sample. The first is doing the paperwork. The second is actually taking the physical sample of the soil. And the third is going and putting it in the post office and getting it sent off. So first let's start with the, the paperwork. There are the form and the box. Let's start with the box. The box is easier to fill out when it's flat and you can write on it. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you fill out your name and your address. And then you want to put uh, select a, a code that you're going to put in. And today we're going to take a sample of a vegetable garden. So I'm going to write veggie, V-E-G-I-E, -E, in the, the box right there. And that will be my code that I will use to identify the, the soil sample. The next thing I want to do is fill out the paperwork. I want to make sure I put the date and the county that it came from as well as the number of samples that are in, going to be included with this this paperwork. Then I want to make sure I fill out my name, my address, and my email address. Now I want to be really careful to make sure that the email address is filled out legibly so that whoever is putting it in can do it right because this is where they're going to send the soil test results to is the email address that's on that form. The next thing I want to fill out is I want to fill out my sample um, identification code. And so I put veggie on the box. So I put veggie, V-E-G-I-E, -E, in these five boxes right here. I also put the amount of lime that I've applied to this area in the last 12 months. And then the last thing I'm going to need to fill out on here is this code. The code that you're looking for here is on the back of the form. And what we want to do, because we're doing a vegetable garden, we want to fill out this code right here, which is vegetable garden 024. So when we get to this point, we flip it back over and we put 024 right here in this box right here. Let's see. Now that I have all my paperwork done, let me grab my tools and let's get started. Today I'm at the vegetable garden and I'm going to go ahead and take my soil sample to send off to be tested. So what I need is I need a, a plastic bucket and I need a hand trowel. These are the tools that I need in order to be able to take that soil sample. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a hole and with the vegetable garden, I want to go about four to six inches deep, make sure I don't have any vegetative stuff in there. Then I want to take, and I want to take a slice, about a quarter inch off the side of that, all the way down, and put that in the bucket. Okay, one sample down. Now, in order to get a representative sample of the entire garden, I only need to get eight to 12 more. Whew, here we go. All right, now that I've got samples from all around the garden, I want to take and I want to mix it up. And one thing I want to do is I want to make sure I get any vegetative stuff out of the sample because I don't want to be sending vegetation into the, the test lab. So mix it up, make sure I got it good and mixed up. And then what I'm going to do is fold this box, close the bottom of it up, this is the tricky part, getting this little thing in there really nice and tight. Once that's together, open the top up and pour the sample into the box. Now you'll notice there, there's way more soil in here than what I needed. But the reason I wanted that is so that I can get a representation of the entire bed. What's happening right here may not be happening somewhere else in the garden. So I want to make sure I have a good representation. When I've got the box filled up to the red line right here, then I go ahead and close it. There's a, a close one, a close two, and then fold that up nice and tidy. And we are good to go. Next step is to take this and uh, put it in the mailbox. Um, I'm just going to put the rest of this back in the garden. All right, here we go. We're back at the office now and we're going to talk about step three of the soil sampling and that is putting it in the mail. You want to make sure that your, your sample 
is not too wet because if it's too wet, then as it's being shipped around, um, it could bounce around and cause this box to just fall apart and then the soil gets all over and they can't really test it. So you wanna make sure if it was a little bit of wet when you took the soil sample to dry it out a little bit, lay it on a sheet of paper, um, let it air dry for a, a day or two and then box it back up into the, the sample box so that it's ready to go. Then you want to size your box so you don't have something that's too big. What I've done is I put a little bit of newspaper in the bottom of this box to, uh, because it is too big for just a single box. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Um, and I also want to make sure that I get the, the sample form in with the soil sample. So I'm going to fold it. And what I'm going to do is if you take and you slide it right underneath that lid right there, that keeps everything together so nothing gets lost. And then I'll pack a little bit more newspaper in here around the box to make sure it doesn't bounce around in there in shipping. And then we should be really good to go. All right, so I'll fold it up. I'm going to tape everything. One of the other things that I did is I prepared the, the mailing label before time so that it's, it's legible and it's easy to go. And what I'll do is I'll just put it on this box and then I'll take it and tape it down so that everything's on there really good to go. Make sure it's secure. And then the only thing I have left that I really need to do is I need to take it to the mailbox or take it to the post office and put it in the post office. But now that that's all secure, nothing's going anywhere, my label's ready, I'm ready to take this to the post office, I should get the results back in about two to three weeks. All right, till next time, have a great day.